Hey guys, it's Sam Wise. Just uh, chilling here with my new friend at the Dancing Bear Bed and Breakfast. Uh, this is the second of two zero days we're doing. Got a rocketeer over here scrav scavenging or scrounging. <laughs> and uh, we're just waiting out the rain because it's been going nonstop. So as soon as that clears up, we're heading out and we're moving to... What's that town called? I don't even know. Somewhere yeah. in North Carolina, Virginia. We just moved. I don't even know where we are anymore. So anyway, that's going to be it for now. But uh, we'll see you along the way. Sam Wise out. Yeah. <laughs> Crossing the road. Two little waddling butts. Now back into elevation, and we're back in the clouds. It's so humid, I'm sweating my balls off. But <clears throat> I think this is, I'm, I'm just about at the top, and then that's the last time I have to climb any uh, significant amount for the next few days. So here we are. I am about 12 miles from Grayson Highlands. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. I just camped here in Elk Gardens. And looking out here as the sun is coming up, I got quite a little view. And this is where it kills me not to have a, like a zoom lens or something because I'm going to try to show you. But out here, you can just see the clouds laying down all over the mountains like an ocean, which I've seen before in plenty of photos and movies, but I've never seen in person, so I'd love to get a little bit closer to that. Uh, I don't know if the trail will take me <laughs> somewhere where I can see it, but either way, there it is. That's super cool. Officially above the clouds. I have to admit that yesterday, after like six days of straight rain, my, my, my mood was in the gutter and I just didn't even want to be out here. But uh, now that the sun's coming up and I just got this gorgeous view, <laughs> oh, nowhere I'd rather be. It's nine o'clock as I make my way a little further up Grayson Highlands. Uh, a uh, pretty young looking white tailed deer just walked across the path and I was just about to get a video of it when two very noisy hikers came down the hill and scared it away. So, sorry I can't show you that, but we're getting pretty close to other kinds of wildlife too. I'm talking about the ponies. <laughs> Got some ponies. I'm sure I'll get closer. They're the tiniest. She is so cool. Be careful of this uh, white one. She's pretty aggressive. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Now you see the true nature of the <laughs> mystical beasts of Grayson Highlands. They will devour your pack. They know you got food. Grayson Highlands. <laughs> Hello. Hi. No, I don't have 
have any. I'm sorry. Unless you want some chocolate. Hey, 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 I don't have any. Oh, come on. What about me? <laughs> Yeah, they're camped right over there. Here's the trail. And there's some some cattle of some sort. <laughs> okay, haven't seen them yet. Well, things are getting more interesting here at Grayson Highlands National Park. Is, uh, what it's been for a lot today. Just a lot of watching my steps so I don't get my feet too soaked. It's great fun. I recommend you try it. everybody it's Thursday now I think yeah Thursday and it seems that we've left the highlands and we're now back into some woods some wooded areas if you will and a storm is slowly but steadily blowing in it wasn't supposed to come until about 4 o'clock it's 1 30 now but it feels like it's getting ready to start coming down so uh, I've got my pack fly on, I've got my rain jacket on. I was really hoping to get to shelter before it starts, but you know, we'll do our best here. Um, I think I still got about six or seven miles to go before I get there, so uh, probably gonna get a little wet. Well, I beat the storm. I'm just laying here in a hammock next to a nice waterfall. Um, but I am hearing thunder off in the distance, so hopefully I didn't rush all day for nothing. It's six o'clock and I already want to go to sleep. So we'll see. We'll see if the weather lets me or if I have to stay up all night while I get stormed on. Okay, it's Friday now. The storms did come, but they came a little bit late, so I was able to get to camp, make my dinner, eat, and then jump in my hammock. Um, I slept like 13 hours last night. It was crazy. Something about the storm just chasing me under the tarp, and now I've got that drying out, but yeah, I'm feeling more than refreshed. So um, today I'm going to try for 19 miles. I probably won't make it all the way just for timing reasons, but... Uh, Gotta have to resupply pretty soon, so time to start putting some big miles on. Here we go. I have to admit that <clears throat> when I think of Virginia, this is exactly what comes to mind. Uh, you can definitely smell cows and see their droppings all over the place. So I know I'm going through some farmer's field right now. But it's a nice change from bare forests and, um, you know, what have really constituted the, the first two months of my uh, trek, the majority of which, now you know, 90% 90, 90 of it has been that. You get your occasional beautiful balds and some. sometimes you get a clearing like this, but a lot of time it's just just bare trees. That's all gonna change soon. I'll be trading that for the green tunnel. As you can see the leaves are starting to come out now. You see it less at the higher elevations but down here spring is here. This is 
the Holston River. Home of lots of trout, apparently. Can't see any from here, but I'm sure they're down there. Yeah, rook trout and brown trout, thanks to the handy guide, you know. Mm. Okay, it's Saturday now. I'm here at uh, in Marion, Virginia. Got thread to my right. Got angles to the left. I'm gonna end the video here because I'm running out of space on my phone. But we are on our way to Parisburg. It's another hundred miles, and hopefully that's what the next video will be if I can afford the space. So, Samwise out.